Hey, what is going on guys? I am Rahul and today for you, I'm going to be showing you what I believe is the easiest way to set up your virtual audio cable. This will make it so that when you do record um, gameplay from DX Tori, you will be able to um, have your mic, your um, game sound and your communications with your friends all in different um, audio channels. And this is, like I said, probably the easiest way to do it. So firstly, what you want to do is go into your um, programs and go over to your virtual audio cable and then find your control panel. And then you just want to right click it and do run as administrator so you can open it up as the admin now when you are here you'll see all these different parameters but um just make sure yours are the same as mine they probably will be because these are pretty much the um same ones as you start off with but if they're not just make sure they are and also for your cables you want to switch it up to two instead of the normal one so normally it would be like one but then you just want to switch it up to two click set and you should have two now if you are getting the error message whereby it's saying you cannot do it just um two things is make sure you are running it in administrator mode and then also if you come over to your playback devices for, through going in the tasks settings um just make sure that um none of your lines are actually set as default but anyway this leads us on to the next part so we don't really need um virtual ca audio cable anymore so we can just close this but when you are in your um playback settings you will notice all of these things and also in recording you'll notice these two um I don't have many others because I have disabled them so if I show you my disabled ones I do have quite a few more or um well not many few not that many few for a few more but um I do have quite a few here if you show disabled devices because I've just got all my graphics cards and whatnot so um I'll just disable showing those and um now what you want to do is go on and um change your line one so what you want to do is right click it go to properties and then change this to game and then i also like to put um brackets r for showing it that it's the real one um i, I don't know why but i i just think it makes it a little bit easier to get around and stuff so you can do that but just make sure you call it game and then click ok make sure that was the line one and then for line two you do the same but this time you can put comms sky whatever you want to do mumble and again I'm going to put the R because it's the real one now you just want to click OK again and then um same thing you want to go into recording make sure you've got your line one and switch it up to properties and uh, yeah like I said make it game this time you don't have to put R you could put it as maybe a mic or something but um just leave it as a uh, game that's what i like to do and then when you go on to listen just click your listen and um click listen to this device and then make sure it is on your headset your speakers or whatever you're using to listen to the sound so um i'll just make sure it's there click apply click ok and then that is that and then same thing properties on line two comms and then go to listen and again listen to this device and make sure it's your headset click apply click ok and then um just click ok so now that that is done you um then want to go on to your dx tori and um oh, you have to just click yes i don't know why and um now when you are in your dx tori you want to um just make sure everything's set up normally but then when you want to go into then you want to go into your audio and um have three set up to set up another one you just want to click the plus to delete it you just want to click the minus now i'm on your number one you want to make it the game and um just make sure it's the r1 as you can see we already we have the two games so if they were both called game you wouldn't know which one is which but just make sure it's the one with the r or whatever you put next to it. you could have put a plus or something or you could have put like game all in caps i don't know what you would have done but yeah that is that one and then for your second one you can either have it as your comms or your microphone i like to pick it as my microphone so here i have got my microphone um these you don't really want to change the settings here because there's no real point they normally put it on the correct ones and um, then for comms um, well, for number three you want to like I said put it on comms and um, yeah, just again make sure it's the real one and uh, yeah don't change any of that and then once you're done you can just close off DX Tori or you can leave it open if you want to record and that is that now I'm um, what you want to also do is go back onto your playback devices and then click game or right click game and make it default device or, or default communications as well so this is now the fully default device now what this does is it'll make all the default programs just play through this one and it will also make your um communications play through this one as well so f so what you want to do to switch that up is just open up your communications where you're going to be talking and um just go on to your mumble and then uh, I'm just going to put myself in AFK real quick. And then what you want to do is go into your configure uh, settings, uh, audio output, 
and make sure it is on comms mine already is but just make sure it is and um then that is that and uh yeah that is that is about it for setting it all up and uh yeah now when you do go on to actually using it in a program you'll find that um when you do record you will have it like ooh, let me just make this a little bit bigger you'll have it looking like this and to actually get all these different audios out you just want to right click extract audio stream and then all these three will pop up this is your normal game sound so if we just have a quick listen to this it's just game sound and then if we have a listen to this um, I don't think I was talking all that much in the gameplay, so yeah, that would have been um, the um, comms uh, or the microphone, and then here is just the <laughs> people sense. talking. Oh. Okay, maybe oh they weren't goodness. talking all that much, but yeah, that, that was just them talking, so yeah, that's how you edit it. Or if you are using Sony Vegas, you don't need to do that because it will automatically just show it for you. That's just if you're using Premiere. But that was about it for setting it up. Maybe the tutorial was longer than it could have been, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy it and um, you found out the new way how to do it. That's the way I do it, and it's work for me every single time so um yeah it's a really good method to use but i've been rahul hopefully you have enjoyed this video and as always i'll catch you in the next one